uh, you have what is called a star pointer finder scope that attaches, I believe, right here. And this is how you kind of like figure out where the star is and then you focus in on it. It looks pretty good. Now the next thing is we got to put our, uh, our spotter on here. That's our next thing. So if you look at it, it looks pretty simple, right? Yeah, you gotta pull this out of here. Now this thing's ready to rock, right? And I think this is the on and off switch here, but I'm not sure. We'll find out in a minute. All right, so this goes on here. And you look, you'll see. So look, you see how this has these two little lines? Right here, there's two little lines. So what I do is I just gotta get it on, slide it like that, and bam. Now, and you can, you know, move it back and forth a little bit. I don't know exactly where we're going to want to have it, but I'm going to leave it right there for right now. And so this is, you look through this to spot, like, you know, Jupiter or whatever you're looking at. You look through that, and there's a red dot when you turn it on. And we're going to have to try it out, and we're going to have to lock it in on something. And um, you want to make sure that you turn it off or that your battery will go dead. See, it's even giving you a warning sign. Make sure you turn it off each time. This, I'm not sure. I don't think this is, I'm not sure what this is here. Um, I think that this is the on and off switch here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, let's see. That's off and that's on. Off, on. So make sure you leave it off. Otherwise, you burn out your battery. 